After several major severe weather events in the Ozarks, mid-Mississippi Valley, and central Great Plains regions in March and April, the appetites of Southern Plains storm chasers were whetted for spring. On the morning of April 24th, the Storm Prediction Center had issued a moderate risk of severe weather for most of central Oklahoma. A trough over the Rockies, with strong mid-level difluent flow over the area and adequate shear for supercells, combined with a tug of instability within the warm sector. This set up prime chasers to hunt out the storms in Oklahoma. Initial storms developed along the warm front in north-central Oklahoma, but these storms quickly moved away from the warm sector and became elevated over a cool, stable air mass to the east. Some of these storms did produce brief mesocyclones, such as this storm, just east of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Many chasers intercepted these early storms, as the warm sector remained inactive. However, storms began to explode along the dry line back in the warm sector to the southwest, and many chasers to the north shifted gears and abandoned their original targets. One storm quickly developed in Canadian County, Oklahoma during the late evening hours. Intrepid storm chasers from all over the southern Great Plains region congregated in the sleepy town of El Reno, Oklahoma for what promised to be an unforgettable severe weather event. This is what they saw. I think that's going to do it. Man, the Vomatis is incredible. Just issuing one now, I think I hear it. And it's a pretty nice motion. Awesome backlight. Awesome here it goes, yeah, here it goes, here it goes. Good rotation, but there's a little snaky tendrils of funnel in there. I have a feeling there's probably a ground circulation, but okay, here we go. Three quarters of the way to the ground right now. It's on the ground. It's on the ground. We can see it. Mason? Yeah, Gary, it, it is on the ground. Uh, it's the longest funnel we've seen today. I can see debris. I wouldn't call it debris. I, I see condensation on the ground moving up right now, Gary. <laughs> Okay, condensation on the ground. Beautiful tornado. Tornado touchdown time, 7.39 p.m. I'd say if you live in El Reno, take a tornado precautions right now because we don't know exactly what this is going to do. But uh, I can see that it is on the ground and it's, it's not going away as of yet, Gary. So if you live in El Reno, take your tornado precautions. becoming a well-defined tornado. Uh, you can see from Ranger 9 shot, it's a well-defined funnel. We can see debris on the ground. That color is amazing. Oh, that is gorgeous. Holy cow. Watch for an occlusion. Oh, wow. More debris on the ground. Uh, the tornado sirens are sounding in El Reno right now. We can hear them. Uh, this is. tornado has nice gotten shot. stronger. Uh, it's very close to I-40 out here. 
Western El, El, near El Reno right now, but it appears to be moving directly east, maybe a little bit to the northeast. This is just west of El Reno, which is west of Oklahoma City. This small, it's very small, but it appears to be quite violent. So it's intensifying again. Look at that. So you guys uh, in the El Reno area, western parts of El Reno, Hank, you guys are very close to it also. Gary, 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 this thing is really doing a lot of debris right now. I mean, it is really producing a lot of debris. Other tornado to the west southwest. Wow. I'm gonna go south to get a better view. Oh god, that's look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh man, that's look at it go. Phenomenal. You have friends and family out there in Canadian County, give them a call on the phone, tell them to tune in because uh, we have this tornado or tornadoes on the ground. And the rotation continues, obviously. were a classic cyclonic anticyclonic pair rotating in opposite directions on opposite sides of a supercell rear flank downdraft. The northern cyclonic tornado did little damage, remaining mostly in open farm fields. 
the southern anticyclonic tornado, rotating clockwise and rare for the northern hemisphere, damaged a new airplane hangar and several aircraft at the El Reno Municipal Airport. Both of these tornadoes were rated EF1 on the enhanced Fujita scale, with winds estimated between 90 and 100 miles per hour.